Now I'd like to tie for you an olive jig head woolly bugger. The jig I have in the vise is by Eagle Claw and it is a 1 ounce jig head and it's pre-painted and I buy the pre-painted ones uh, makes it a little easier on getting the fly to completion. The thread I'm going to use is 6 aught red thread it is 70 denier and I'm going to attach the thread and I'm going to bring it back to the bend of the hook and using the red thread I'm going to have a little bit more color at the head of the fly and this would make a pretty nice uh, if you had just a solid red head it would make a good uh, egg sucking leech pattern this being the egg already and with the one eye it would look like a yolk okay so I have the thread in the back of the hook and now I have uh, olive marabou and what I'm gonna do is take the marabou and I'm gonna pull it all to one side I'm gonna pull it all to one side and gather it up and I'm gonna remove that and that feather is through and I have a nice big thick clump of uh, olive marabou and I'm gonna tie that on and the tail could be whatever length or whatever fullness you would like but you want to keep it in proportion to the rest of the fly to the hook of the fly there we go there's a nice nice tail right there and now I'm going to take a olive dyed grizzly hackle and I take the hackle and just run my fingers down from the tip to the back and it stands it up at the 90 degrees and I'm going to tie it in by the tip and I'm leaving a pretty good size tip there. I'm not giving it the haircut. It's a little difficult to uh, cut them right off the very tip. But since I have so much hackle tip there, I don't really need the, to give it the haircut. Okay, and now I'm going to take... I have six strands of peacock hurl instead of using Chanel I'm going to use the peacock hurl and I'm going to tie them in right at that point and tie them down pretty good as you can see the uh, shaft is getting filled it's not quite at the diameter but that's it's getting close to the same diameter as the jig head in the back and also one more thing the jig head when you buy them have that uh, barb on the lead there and uh, I just take a pair of wire cutters and I remove that very simple just simply take the wire cutters and cut it off let me get it from the other direction and there we have it removed just smooth it out and you're fine okay now I'm going to take the peacock hurl and I'm going to wrap that forward. I'm going to take it and I'm going to twist them together there a bit. And the more you have, the easier it is to twist them. You can see them twisted up there. And I'm going to... I don't have my bobbin cradle set up on this vise, so I'm just going to extend the thread a little longer. 
And to make things quicker for myself, I'm just going to rotate the vise to wind the peacock curl. The marabou gets a little out of unruly, just moisten your fingers there a little bit. And that will put it into correct the unruliness. And we're going to wrap this right up to the head. You can see my bobbin is coming into view now, so I'm going to extend it a little bit. And bring it right up to the head itself. Oop, back it off there actually a little bit. Okay, I'm going to use my finger to push the thread forward. There we go. And bring that right up to the head itself. And tie that off. And these were long peacock curls. You can see I took uh, quite a bit of wraps with the peacock curl. And wrap in back, wrap in front, and remove the excess. Whenever you're using the scissors, always push the thread out of the way so you don't cut it. And now I'm going to take the olive dyed grizzly hackle and I'm going to wind that forward. Make one complete wrap right at the back and then make open spirals as you're going. And this you can make the spirals to fit your, your desired size. You can make them open more or you can keep them closer together to make it fuller and this one is a pretty full one and when I get to the front there we go and I'm going to tie this down put a few wraps in front pull the feather to the back and put some wraps in back in front of it Okay, and now I'm going to remove the hackle and put the rest on the side for a another for another fly and give it a couple more wraps. Take my whip finisher take my whip finisher Whoop, slid off. And give it a whip finish. Tug that tight. Remove the thread. And apply some head cement to that nice red collar that we have and here we have a olive jig head woolly bugger I hope that you learned something from this video I hope that you would subscribe to my channel please leave comments questions suggestions and most of all I thank you very much for watching my videos